Greetings. This is Mikael, and I'd like to know, who do you follow? I'm going to speak to you about the first covenant, or the first covenant, which is the blood covenant and the blood testimony. Out of Exodus chapter 23, and I'm going to give you the key verses, which is from 6 through 8, and then I'll kind of explain it a little bit to you. So, Exodus chapter 23, verse 6 says, and Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people. And they said, all that the Lord has said will we do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it uh, uh, on the people and said, behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Now, just to share with you, this was the first covenant that the creator made in the wilderness with the children of Israel. This is the reason why it's called the commandments. And this is the reason why Israel was supposed to keep the law. They were commanded to keep the law as a nation, them and, and all the people that was with them, all the other nations, as well. So this is just something I wanted to share with you because a lot of people don't know the true blood covenant. This was the blood covenant and it started from verse 1 of Exodus chapter 23 to verse 8. And if you get time, check it out. I want to share a little bit more with you uh, as well. Uh, if you go to verse 3, it says, And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the judgment and all the people answered, with one voice, with one voice, and said, "All the words, all the words which the Lord has said, will we do?" Don't forget, by your words you're justified; by your words you're condemned. We, as a nation, said, out of everything that the Father said, will we do? So Moses brought the law. We said we'll do the law, and we were commanded to keep the law. And by being commanded to keep the law, because we said we would keep it, if you go to Numbers chapter 30, every vow that you make unto the Creator, you must keep. This is one reason why we've been going through what we've been going through as a nation and as a people. Other than that, I thank you for your time, your patience, your listening near, and your seeing eye. Come and check us out. Don't forget, this was the blood covenant, the first covenant. Peace.